Hey guys, Ethan here from Mitten Equipment. Today we're going to be installing uh, the, my Pioneer fitting kit on this Kubota VX2380. Uh, what this kit does is it changes from this uh, flat face single point connector to uh, the older style Pioneer fittings. Uh, the reason you might want to do this is because these single point connectors are prone to leaking um, and it's very costly to replace um, parts of this. Fit my whole kit here, it's got uh, four sets. The whole kit has uh, four sets of Pioneer fittings. Um, so this is a, everything you need to do the swap. Uh, we have an aluminum plate to hold all the fittings. Um, and then these are um, JIC to NPT thread adapters. So to do this today, we're gonna be using a 7 8 inch ratchet, a 12 millimeter ratcheting wrench, a 19 millimeter, and then I also have a, a 16 millimeter line wrench. Uh, you might be able to get away with a standard wrench, but I have a line wrench in this size. And then I have a, a crescent wrench here uh, because I don't have a 20 millimeter wrench, but if you have a 20 millimeter, that works too. Um, you'll need to provide some of this thread seal tape. Um, I like to use this on the hydraulics. You don't have to get uh, the NPT thread so ungodly tight and make it not leak. But the first step of this, of course, is to remove the loader from the tractor. We've already done that. Now we're gonna take this 16 millimeter wrench and then the 7 8 ratchet and remove these flat face couplers. I just, you can remove all of these independently from the tractor, but um, if you just loosen them all off here, you can remove this whole block all at once. So now that we have all these couplers loosened off here, we're going to use the 12 millimeter wrench to remove the two bolts on each side. You don't want to save those bolts because we're going to be using them again. Um, and then we can kind of just discard that part of the manifold. These dust caps, uh, we won't need either anymore. The kit has a new set of color-coded dust caps. Now you'll want to remove the old Teflon tape. And then we're going to put some fresh Teflon tape on each one of these. The whole reason that I came up with this kit was because I had a BX1880 that had this single point connector on it. And like a lot of people online, I tried to replace the upper half with uh, female flat face connectors and it continued to leak. So the next step was to switch over the bottom side connectors. And I was not going to spend another $250 on top of the $250 I originally spent uh, just to risk uh, having this continue to leak. I don't like to sell things that leak. It's just not a good thing for your reputation. Um, so I decided to uh, switch it all over to Pioneer couplers. Um, and I've never had a Pioneer coupler leak. They're readily available. Um, so it's just a, the old style is better in my opinion. So we'll put some Teflon tape on each of these and continue with the install. It shouldn't really take too long. I've done a few of these at this point. Now we're going to go ahead and install this alignment plate. Uh, this is really just, uh, this is something I actually machined myself. Um, it's the only thing I really make out of this kit. Um, but what we're doing is we're trying to retain these hydraulic hoses. Otherwise, they're kind of just hanging around at their free will. Um, you'll want to put the hoses closer towards the tractor. You can see that it has an offset to it. Uh, this matches the spacing of the single point connector that was originally on the tractor. And we're going to want to make sure that 
this plate is mounted underneath of these tabs and our original bolts are also going to mount from the bottom side. This bolt back here is the reason you want a ratcheting wrench. There's not much room between uh, this bolt and then the floor. We're going to match the original uh, color pattern on the Kubota BX. The only thing that's changed is this black one. Uh, originally would have been white, it's now black. We'll get these all started. Uh, so it's blue, red, yellow, and then black. So for this, you're going to want the 16 line wrench for the hydraulic lines on the bottom and then a 19 on the top. Just going to try to get these good and snug. Um, then you can take your dust cap and slide it in here. So we're going to go ahead and tighten the rest of these up and then we're going to move on to the loader. Okay guys, so we're done with the tractor side. Now we're working on the loader. Um, I've already pre-assembled a few of these pieces, but all we're going to be doing is taking our female Pioneer couplers. Um, and then I have these NPT to JIC uh, adapters. The NPT side, we have put some Teflon tape on already, uh, and this is going to thread into our uh, female Pioneer couplers. Now we're going to remove uh, just at this joint here. You can see these all are labeled with their washers, so white's going to get replaced uh, with black, just like we did on the tractor. These are a 19. Um, actually, I'm going to grab my cardboard. So we are going to lose a little bit of fluid doing this, uh, but I put some cardboard down. Grab our connector quickly here, thread this together. So if you have a 20 millimeter wrench, that's what you'll need um, on the Pioneer side on the loader, same 19. This is the hardest part of the whole install. So we're going to just want to make sure that we get all these tight. Uh, I'm going to go through and do the rest of these and then we'll put the loader back on the tractor and make sure there's no leaks. Alright guys, so we got everything switched over. Just gonna make sure there's no... on the loader valve and then we can put these on just like you would any other tractor on the market uh, each color goes to its pair So these are a little bit more time consuming and messy to connect and disconnect, 
but um, I would much rather deal with these than something that persistently leaks. Now, again, they call this that entire manifold. The last time I priced it out, it was around $700. So we'll go ahead and get this mounted on the tractor. <laughs> a wrap for the video uh, this job is a little messy so get some towels uh, the last step is just to make sure none of these fittings leak um, so you're gonna want to just keep an eye on them for the next couple of days run it for a couple hours and just make sure there's no drips on the floor um, sorry for the lighting this time of day um, but I just wanted to make a quick video to show people how these go together um, and to make people more aware that it is available so Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Check out our website, mittenequipment.com. You can find these kits there. Um, we sell them to you, ship them to your door, uh, and then you can have the fun of the project. So anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.